Okay, so on this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your inventory on your My Customers app. So we're going to go ahead and open up my My Customers app, and it just came right up because it's been opened already before. And the very first thing you want to do is make sure you want to go to your orders, and you want to check to make sure that you don't have any pending orders. So if I had any pending orders, they would be showing up above the completed orders. And um, so you want to make sure that everything is like anything that's been sold and delivered and everything has been paid for it's been compl marked as complete because it will throw your numbers off if they're pending so you want to make sure you take care of that and then we're going to come on down if you scroll up you're going to see this bottom the gear where it says settings you're going to click on settings and this is kind of cool because you can actually um, use this toggle here and so you can just when you sign in you don't have to type in your password every time you can just do the touch with your thumbprint you can also set your tax rates wherever you live you can set your tax rate so it's an automatic de default to automatically charge them tax um, and you can always change that individually if you have somebody out of state with a different tax rate but then also if you come down here to inventory and it says reset inventory you would click that and you would reset everything down to zero so this is particularly good for people who have maybe been using the app a little bit but not really and you really have never put your full inventory in maybe you've been in the business for a while and you've already had inventory but you didn't ever have it all fully in there this is a great way to reset everything back to zero so that you're counting the physical inventory that you have on hand and then putting everything back in i'm not going to touch that because i just got finished setting my whole thing up and so i don't want it to reset to zero i would cry if that happened so i went ahead and we're going back to the home main screen and so now at this point we're ready to go ahead and enter inventory so what i've done is i printed off of the off of InTouch, under order, you can scroll down and print off an order form. And that's the current order form. And I just printed it off on paper. And then I did a hand inventory of everything in my product line that I have on my shelf. And I wrote the numbers in. And so then I came in here to my inventory. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna pick back up with my inventory. So now I've got my inventory counted on my paper order form and I'm ready to put it into my app. So I'm gonna click on my inventory. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is I just go by the order of the order form and um, because that way I can make sure that I have everything and I don't and then I don't miss things. And, I, and so um, the very first thing on the order form is the miracle set. So I'm going to type in miracle set. Now you could also type in the product number if you wanted to, um, but I'm going to just do miracle set. Type that in. Um, do a search. Okay, and so these are all the things that have the word Miracle Set in them. So you'll notice here on Miracle Set with the combination oily, I have three on hand. This is kind of cool too because it shows you sold but not delivered. This would be the example of a pending order. So if you did a physical count and you had three on hand and you had a pending order sold not delivered of maybe one, then you want to make sure that you show, show it that it has available three. So just so you know, that's kind of why you want to clear out those pending orders. Uh, because what you have available to sell is three okay so um since then i can also set a, a low quantity alert so if i want to make sure that i keep a certain number of miracle sets on hand then i can have this say alert me when my quantity level is at zero or if you want to make sure it doesn't ever fall below one you could put one or whatever you want to do with that okay and then once it's there there's no enter you just hit back and it's there okay uh, and then you can go on down now um you can make sure that you get the right product number that matches the current order form because in this app it has every single product that we've ever had and so you might have some older products sometimes they change packaging or product numbers so you want to make sure that you're working with the right one because if somebody orders online they're going to be ordering with the, from the current number so you want to make sure you have that correct okay so then i you know i would just um find my next thing that on here and type in whatever i want um, one of the things like with uh, the mineral powder eye colors, you could type in eye color. Okay, and then here you got your creams. And you notice like Meadowgrass, that's an old one. And see here it has a um, no customer delivery service. That means it's because it's no longer around. Um, and you'll see here that I've set a low quantity for the metallic taupe. I currently have none in stock. But I have it alert me when, I'm one, when I get down to one. So that's going to be on my alerts from what I need to order. Um, and then so you can just put in all the colors again I go by the actual order form but you can put a general category and probably you know and get all the ones that have the word eye color in it and you can go through it that way and if you want to like narrow it down you can do mineral eye color 
and that kind of thing. Um, you know, with brushes, I put brush in. And so you got the brush collection. This is the old one. You got to make sure you match the product numbers to the current number, the current numbers. Make sure they're correct when you're putting these numbers in. And so once that's all in, you can set your low, um, you know, low order alert or low number alert and get that all squared away. But then now it's good. And what's nice about this is when you have my inventory all set up, there's a couple of um, sort features. So if you go up here to the top, to the right, there's an up arrow, or down arrow. If you click on that, you can sort by a product name or you can sort by what you have of the most of and the least of. So like here, I have a product that says I have a negative one. Well, that's not correct because I don't have negative one of anything. So um, when I did my inventory and set this all up, I will tell you that sometimes it's a little bit slow and you can't just put a number in there. But right now, let's see, beige five matte. I don't have any in stock, so it really should reflect zero. So I just changed that. You can go up or down, that's how you change it. And I've got my low quantity alert because that's actually my shade. So I wanna make sure I have some on hand. Um, but again, you can sort this low to quite. So when I change that, notice it came right out of that list. It's no longer there. So um, sort the quantities of what you have the least amount of. So there doesn't look like there's any more negatives. So I know that all of my um, inventory that I've set in there is all correct now. Everything is good. And um, you can always use this as a check to kind of make sure that everything that you did put in there actually took. Uh, because all these things should either be old products that you don't have or they should be, um, you know, discontinued items or whatever. Things that these are products. I remember they have every product that we've ever made is in here. So I should have zero of those and I do. All right. So you can also clear out that sort just by hitting that X. And now it goes back to the regular sorting by the name. And then the side, the side lines here, the horizontal lines, you can click those. And then you can sort by things that are low quantity, which is what I would do. Um, and I'll hit apply. And that's going to tell me what I kind of need to place an order with, what I need to order. So these are the things that, based on the low, the alerts that I have set for low quantity, these are the things that I have now hit. Now, what I've done is, like my peacock blue, my low quantity alert is two. So I have it set to when it hits two to give me an alert. That doesn't mean I'm going to order any. That lets me know that it's on my alert because I really don't want more than two on, on hand. And so I've kept it there. So that way I'm alerted of it, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna order it, okay? Um, let's see, so back to inventory. So you can sort it by um, things that are unavailable for a customer delivery service. That would probably most likely be all the things that are no longer um, in our current product line, okay? So you notice I really don't have very many things. I have a few things, a few brushes. I've got a couple of those Ben stop kits, a few things. But other than that, this is what it is. Okay, one more thing that I wanted to point out with you um, on the search features with the My Inventory. Click on My Inventory up here, the horizontal bars. Um, I want to see my list my inventory in low quantity. I want to see that. And so everything that I have is a low quantity alert for, when it's hit that number, it's going to show up here. But then really what I want to know also is I'm going to hit the up and down arrow. And I also want to know quantity low to high. Okay, so I'm very interested. You notice here it's got a sort and a filter. You can actually put both of those in there. And so now everything that has zero quantity on my shelf is showing up here at the top. The zeros are the ones, the things that I have said, hey, I want to make sure I have at least something on, on hand and it's giving me an alert. So it helps me zone in on for sure what I want to make sure is on my order so that I can actually get those things. And then it's going to show me, um, you know, as the as I scroll down for the quantities, it's going to be in the ones and the twos. And so those things, at least I have one of them. So, you know, if I have a certain things I need to order, at least I have the the most urgent things are at the top of the list. So that's just another way, another feature that you can use. Right. That so I think that kind of tells you how to get it all squared away and how you can use these different searches um, to help you filter and, and, and narrow down what you're looking for. Really excited about this app. Okay, so now I'm going to go into inventory and I am going to scan an order in. So I have a box here. Um, that, um, that I just got an order in. And so I'm going to scan the order. Holy moly, that did that so fast. I didn't even know I did it. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. This is my first time doing this. So, 
So some of the um, items in my cosmetic order may that will not explain the shipment of detail track in your inventory. These are section two items. So section two items I don't usually ever track anyway because as soon as you purchase them, they're automatically a tax deduction. So I'm just gonna say okay. And then I think all you have to do up here, there's 88 items in this shipment. And all I'm gonna do is set is is hit add to my inventory. Yes, I would like to add this to my inventory. And super duper easy. Inventory updated wasn't that crazy fast. So that's exciting. Those things were all added to my inventory and it's as easy as that. So now it's done. Super excited. Can't wait for you guys to try this.